hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's another brand new video i know it's been a long time yeah uh, it's really been a long time so welcome by someone actually made a comment and i felt it's actually important so ends the need i just had to do this quick video tutorial for that person so if you are the person thank you for commenting and now let's dive into the video so you requested i should make a video tutorial this is the question on the screen but it said i should make a video tutorial teaching him or making him understand how i did a screen recording video which i did as a faceless kind of video without showing my face so this is what the tutorial is going to be looking like that's why you are seeing me and i'll also be showing you my phone and how i got to do it so let's move guys thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting and you're welcome to my channel let's move on to the next chapter well guys as you all know i just got my new phone and with this phone i will be using to do the recent tutorial of what this guy actually requested for so i'll be dimming the light a little bit and the focus will not be on my face but on my phone so i'll be bending my ring light i'm actually recording using my ring light so let me kind of do a, a video recording so this is me actually recording with this is me video. actually recording with and using video. a ring light to record and using a ring light so. to record so So now let's move just on the mobile device so i don't know if you guys are seeing this like this so this is my phone this is the screen of my phone now the next thing for me is to subscribe and move to screen recorder so i'll click screen recorder to record the screen of my phone and make sure it's actually new because it's a new phone so i will be clicking on allow don't ask and allow my phone currently has a screen recorder but i also love to use the x recorder to make sure and record things using my phone so i will allow it with all permissions and So I actually made it aloud. I think that is all. So this is, and this is chapter two. So it it adds features of microphone and internal audio. So I click OK. So now my S recorder is up on the phone, so I can actually record. So it, as you can see, this button right here. Is actually where the S recorder is so I'll tap on it and if I want to click stop or anything I will continue recording so it's actually to record audio while using only this app so you click for your own preferences. so I'll start start now as you can see it's counting and it's already recording so in this regard I just want to record how i'm able to do certain kind of tutorials using my phone so i'll i'll go to the edit snapseed so if i want to edit picture using the snapseed all i have to do is just go for a recent picture and kind of so this is like one of my picture so i can just make it look more portrait more beautiful or more smooth but as you can see it's actually been recorded the screen is still recording so i'll click here to make it more smooth my favorite thing on using this snapseed is this it actually brightens the color and makes it look more beautiful or enhance the color as you can see it's actually more pretty so with this being recorded i'll just click on stop this pause and this is stop so like that it will tell me video is already been saved so afterward i'll click and go back to my InShot app so for for doing that my s recorder is going to be closed so i'm on my InShot app now on the InShot app i'll open it up and bring back in my videos so this is the video i actually screen record 
I'll click OK. So it has brought it into the screen. So I'll come to Canvas. Clicking on Canva, I'll set it to YouTube site. As you can see, it became smaller. Then I'll click OK. Can you guys see? So now I will now change the background type by going to background and look this is my video so i will look for the preferred background i want if you don't want your background to be like this you can make it just a kind of plain background so the focus can actually be more on the center so in this regard i'll click ok like this so the background is actually more in the middle so i love to design my um my video so that's why most time you find certain kind of sticker like a phone image so because this is a new phone all my data and everything has actually been removed so i'll just go back to the beginning of how i normally import and i'll select from where the file is i think i saved them on check downloads I'm going to load and change back so these are a jpeg kind of format so i'm gonna look for a kind of format phone format that look like my phone screen so that's the one i'll be using but for the sake of old times this is the one i actually used to use before so i'll make it bold and enlarge it a little bit and shrink it to the size of till it fits anyway let me just put it that way so when I feel satisfied, because I actually must feel satisfied to be able to stop. So when I feel satisfied like this, I'll click OK. So then I'll come down to this side of the video and click to video in and also come here to click to video in. So in that way, till the video will get to the end, it will still have that stickers on it. So immediately I'm done like that, then I can decide to style it in whichever format I want. That's where you find me using my import still and looking for subscription or subscribe button. This is it because I've not cleared this one. That's why everything is still rough. But if I want to use this one, I can just come to this and tap on that then it will load and actually help me and clean the body and select the one i want but it will be taking much of my time so i prefer the one i actually did myself but in this case for the sake of this tutorial let's just continue or let's move on it's actually loading that's why I don't like using the cuts. I just import the already made. But the cut actually used to take more time. As you can see, everything has been cleaned out. So now, how do I now want it? That the particular one I will select and clean myself. You can see it's showing background. But I actually just wanted everything to be removed. So I'll put it in this regard and click maybe this one or this one to reduce it or to make it faint like that. So those are ways at which I use in styling and delete this particular one. And I can use this one and shrink it and put it aside. You just design your video anyway, but in this case, this is those are ways on how I usually get to do those kind of things. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Then if I actually want to like name my videos, I come down to text. I write the name of my channel, Kao Sarah Abdul Fatai. Like this. Just because of the sake of this story, ends, everything is in rush. So I'll select this and something I had background like this and... I put it at the point of where I want it to be. So when the video is playing, you as well be seeing and be listening and be also be hearing the things I'm saying for the tutorial. 
so i hope this is helpful i hope it answered your question if not maybe you should comment below and let me know in what area you've not understood and i'll try and make another tutorial so thank you guys for watching thank you for commenting after that i'll click on save and as you can see it has already customized the saving history then it's going to live and saved so, all right guys this is the end result of the video tutorial i hope it helped you and Snapchat. please comment whatever your view about it is so all right guys so that's how i got to do my videos and that's how i usually edit them i hope this video was helpful if not tell me in the comment section what you would like to see in it and in what way i will be able to help out again i love to do this kind of tutorials thank you guys you literally brought live back by commenting and making me do this video and guys look at the time it's currently 11 54 so thank you guys till next time stay safe and peace out